MLB player props here on Prize Picks for Monday, June 5th. Before we get started, link is in the description below. You can sign up for Prize Picks there, or you can use promo code TUFF 100% deposit match. Discord link is in the description. We have the main server completely free. We do also have that Patreon link in there as well, where I do post all the plays here that I'm making on Prize Picks for each given sport that I do play. Again, I'm not a gambling expert, and this is not financial advice. There's simply just plays I'm personally looking at making. Hopefully, give you guys some insight and analysis to then make your own player prop decisions here. But let's get into it, you guys. I got two plays here from this MLB slate. No one is pressing submit on those parlays other than yourselves as well, you guys. So keep that in mind. But I got two plays, like I said. We have a decent size MLB slate. Obviously, not a huge one. I think we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight games today on the slate. Uh, most of them starting in the afternoon, which is good for us here. Uh, but yeah, I got two plays that I am targeting from this slate. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. So the first one is going to be uh, both of these plays are actually going to be a strikeout prop. The first one is going to be Braxton Garrett over five and a half strikeouts here against the Kansas City Royals. Now taking a quick look here at his last five, he is over this line in four of his last five, six, eight, eight, and seven. Uh, one miss coming at Colorado, I believe. We take a look at this game here. Um, Kansas City versus Miami the over under is at eight runs which is one of the lower under under over unders on the day actually the lowest over under on the day which actually does help us here the Kansas City Royals are not a very good baseball team they are 18 and 41 here um, this game is being played in Miami as well Braxton Garrett obviously most pitchers pitch a little bit better at home but we take a look here Braxton Garrett over his last 10 like I said four or actually five of his last 10 starts over his last five and 80 percent K right here but we take a look more specifically at this matchup right so so we take a look at Kansas City. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, six guys in that starting lineup of nine players that have a strikeout percentage over 20% against lefties. Um, we take a look here at Kansas City over the last, what is this, last 20 days or so. Kansas City is having a, the ninth highest strikeout percentage against left-handers. Um, and then we take a look here if we do this away. All right, versus lefties away, we see your Kansas City, the fifth highest strikeout percentage to lefties at 29.6% strikeout percentage versus left-handed starting pitchers. We take a look at starting pitchers this season versus the Kansas City Royals. We see the number of guys that have had at least six strikeouts here um, against the Kansas City Royals. It really... A ton of pitchers have had this um, gone over this line pretty easily. We look at Mackenzie Gore, who's a left-handed pitcher. He just had at Kansas City on the road. He had 11 strikeouts. We've also seen Mike Mikolas here. He's a righty, but he had 10 strikeouts here. Michael Kopech had 10 strikeouts here. Eduardo Rodriguez had nine strikeouts here. Um, Michael Wacha had 11 strikeouts. Um, Luis Giolito had nine. Um, Corbin Burns had seven. So we're seeing these guys really be able to get to, um, you know, I mean, Bailey Ober, I believe he's a lefty. He had six strikeouts here. Zach Gallen had a 12. So, you know, when Braxton Garrett has high level stuff, I mean, his swing and miss stuff is pretty elite in my opinion. Uh, swing strikeout, number of swings and misses divided by the number of pitches, 12% swing to strike percentage. Um, you know, first strike, batter's face, which first strike pitch was a strike, 80% here. So, I like Braxton Garrett a lot here tonight at five and a half. I'm not going to be playing this if it does bump to to six, in my opinion. But at five and a half, I think it prevents. I mean, presents some pretty pretty solid value here, um, just given how kind of Kansas City is against lefties on the road. 29.6% K rate. He has hit this in four of his last five. Has been pitching pretty well. Um, and then those guys in that lineup for Kansas City. I mean, Nick Prado's a 36.8% K rate against lefties. Perez, um, Melendez. Uh, Olivares and Waters down here, 44% K rate against lefties. We see the hit rate again. Um, let me see if we can sort this by left-handed. Um, see how this comes out. Left-handed starting pitchers. I guess, yeah. So left-handed starting pitchers. We can see here, I mean, Kyle Freeland had one here in seven innings of work um, at Kansas City. But before that, Mackenzie Gore, Corbin, Boyd, uh, Rodriguez and Waldichuk all hit this line. So we saw five pitchers straight hit this line. And again, Braxton Garrett has strikeout stuff. We take a look at kind of his game log um, this season. And he's done, I guess he's done it pretty well on the road as well. But at home, he had seven strikeouts against the powerful San Diego Padres lineup, eight strikeouts against the Giants, eight strikeouts against Cincinnati, and six strikeouts here against Arizona. He has been pitching at least five plus innings in five straight games as well. So I definitely think he's good for at least 85 to 90 pitches tonight. Um, it would, should be a low scoring game. Again, the books have an 8 and 8 0 oh, 8.0 um, over underline for this game. So the first play is going to be Raxton Garrett over five and a half pitcher strikeouts. The second one is going to be another strikeout prop. It's going to be an under. It's going to be Adam Wainwright under four uh, four strikeouts. So 
Wainwright has hit this in two of his last five games here, but he just gets presented again with this super, super tough matchup here, um, in my opinion. So we take a look at Wainwright's game log this season. Like I said, he's gone over this in two of his last five starts. Again, he's only pitched five games this season, but on two games on the road here, he's only had two strikeouts and two strikeouts against two higher of the strikeout percentage teams. I mean, Cincinnati strikes out a ton. He only had two strikeouts versus them in 5.2 innings. And then Boston strikes out a ton more specifically as of late. And he only had two strikeouts versus them. Um, in five innings so we take a look here at adam wainwright um just a quick a couple of things so on the season through five starts 26 innings he has a 5.5 um, strikeouts per nine inning with a 12.9 strikeout percentage which is extremely low but if we move that to away right adam wainwright 4.5 strikeouts per nine innings with a 9.5 um wait as a starting pitcher away yeah, sorry, 3.4, sorry, in 10.2 innings of work, 3.4 strikeouts per nine innings. Um, again, he's not going to pitch nine innings. And then only a 8.3% strikeout percentage this season. Now, Adam Wainwright on most sports books is even listed under three and a half. He's like, he's literally listed at three and a half on a lot of books and people are fading the under at three and a half. So at four, we get extreme value. In my opinion, I definitely think this gets bumped down to three and a half. So if you see this play and it's at four and you do like it, um, I definitely think this play could move. But like I said, here on Outlier, again, there's a link at the top of the description of this video. You can get a seven-day free trial with Outlier using the link at the top of the description. But like I said, the Rangers hit the ball extremely well, and they hit the ball extremely well at home. So we take a look at the Texas Rangers versus right-handers this season. They have the highest batting average versus righties, the second highest OBP, the second highest slugging, and the second highest OPS versus right-handers. If we take a look at versus right-handers at home, right? This season, the Texas Rangers have the highest OPS, the highest slugging percentage, the highest OBP, and the second highest batting average at home versus right-handers. I definitely think they can get to Adam Wainwright pretty easily here. Adam Wainwright has not hit the over on this on the road this season. Um, like I said, two strikeouts against Cincinnati on the road, two strikeouts against Boston on the road. I definitely think with that powerful, powerful Texas Rangers lineup, how they hit at home, um, I think they get to Adam Wainwright pretty easily in this game. Like I said, he this season threw 10 innings on the road only a 8.3% K rate, 3.4 strikeouts per nine innings. I mean, even if you just do that um, for the full season, 5.5 per nine innings, 12.9% K rate, that lineup for the Texas Rangers is extremely high. I definitely think this bumps up to three and a half, bumps down, sorry, to three and a half. So I'm fading here, Adam Wainwright at four. I think we get great push potential as well here. So Braxton Garrett over five and a half strikeouts for uh, Miami, and then Adam Wainwright under four strikeouts against the Rangers. So here are the two plays here. Drop a like on this video, you guys. Please hit that subscribe button. And as always, you guys have a great day, and let's cash.